What's going on? Come back. Tennessee has a new state park. And I want to let you know a little bit about it and where it's at. Well, that's going on everybody. This is Patrick Mid-10 Outdoors with a special Saturday video. How's it going out there? I hope you're having a great Saturday. Hope you're able to get outdoors. According to our weather forecast, it's supposed to be storms and uh, rain, but we need the rain, so I'm kind of an off weekend for me anyway, so oh well. I'll actually be working on YouTube stuff all weekend, so I've got stuff to do. So we're going to talk about a new state park in the state of Tennessee. I have some information on it that I'm going to share. I am looking at notes on my iPad for this. Um, behind me, if you're wondering what this is, something I started a while back. I've got to do another one because I've got it filled up. But this is all the stickers I've gotten from different parks that I've gone to or different places I've gone to with the channel. I got Lookout Mountain, Edgar Evans State Park, um, Nathan Bedford State Forest or State Park, Henry Horton State Park. I got Tennessee Trail sticker. I got Smoky Mountains. Uh, Cades Cove, Chickamauga and Chattanooga, LBL, we go there quite a bit, matter of fact, there's a video coming out Tuesday from LBL, uh, Shiloh National Military Cemetery, or Military Park, uh, me and Chloe went there a couple years back, Cumberland Mountain State Park, Mouse Tail Landing, Big South Fork, we've been there a few times, may go back there this fall, um, uh, Big Ridge State Park, Indian Mountain State Park, and Copper Hill, Tennessee, which McKaysville. Um, so, now I've got a bunch more. That's why I've got to make another one of those. All it is is a piece of sheet metal painted black, flat black, with a door guard like we go on a car, except for it's protecting you from the edge of the. Um, metal so i don't have any pictures of the park as of yet i do have a couple of maps i'm going to drop in um, the first map i will drop in is a map of the state park itself and its trails its lakes and we'll go over all that stuff here in just a second um, now i did say lakes because they have multiple lakes in this park and you'll see on the map that's being dropped in right now um, you have hiking trails and biking trails, which are kind of intertwined. Uh, I don't know how I like that, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. So the name of the park is Middle Fork Bottom State Park. Now, forgive me if I keep looking down because I'm having to read all about this thing. It's an 860-acre park in uh, Middle Western Tennessee. It is in West Tennessee. Uh, the actual location of the park is in Humboldt, Tennessee. Uh, main entrance is actually 111 Sanders Bluff Road. Now I will leave a link down below because if you go on the Tennessee State Parks website, it's not on the site yet. And it's kind of funny, it's not there. I've checked the mobile site and I've checked the regular site, but I will leave a link down below to the park if you're in Tennessee, especially in West Tennessee and we'll go check it out. Or if you're going through West Tennessee and we'll go check it out. I will leave that link so you know where to go. Um, daylight saving time hours from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then standard time when we go back is 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Um, so let's go over the activities at this place. Um, the pictures I've seen so far are really nice. It's a really nice park. It's a revitalization of a wetlands that they have done. Um, they've restored a bunch of the wetlands there, growing new trees in the area and that kind of thing. Like I said, it has three, uh, four lakes maybe. Now they consider them lakes. I don't know how big they really are. I don't know how big a body of water has to be can be considered a lake. Anyway, so the activities there are birding, fishing, paddling, biking, 
hiking, and that's it. So this is not a campground. So they do not have anywhere to camp. Um, you'll see the map now that I'm going to put up. I took that off Onyx Off-Road. That's exactly where the park is, and you'll see it spans a highway on one side and a river on the other side. Or I don't know if it's considered a river or like a uh, big creek, but anyway. So on the paddling part of it, if you want to know, Middle Fork Lake um, is the lake that you can paddle on for now. They're talking like they may be adding, otherwise letting you paddle in some of the other lakes. So no, no motorized things. What they're talking about is ca uh, kayaks and weight and uh, uh, paddle boards. Sorry, and I'm, I would imagine you could do canoe, but it doesn't say canoe. But it says, please note, paddlers are required to wear life jackets while paddling at the park. Only paddling, no motorized watercraft is permitted in Middle Fork Bottoms Lake. So, there's that. Um, let's go back. Birding. Um, let's see, on birding, you have... Uh, there's several different... I will drop a list right now of all the birds you can see uh, of course wild turkey and all that stuff um, I'm thinking I'm gonna go look because it says look at the trails if this is something different than what I've seen it's not pulling up <laughs> um, fishing let's see which parts you can uh, or what part of the park you can anglers can have an opportunity to find brim on the Middle Fork Lake uh, Paper Shell Lake. Uh, I was trying to see if I say anything else. Okay, so Middle Fork Fort Deer River has catfish bass and can also be found on Middle Fork Lake. So you have a little bit of everything. I'm just reading this as, as we go because I have not had a chance to really get into this. Uh, biking there's four miles of paved trail hiking the park has one four mile inter, uh, interconnected paved trail so that's the only thing that kind of bothers me it sounds like your hiking trail and biking trail are all in one which I just don't I, I don't know unless they got it marked out where the walkers can be and where the bikers can be I can see that can be a problem from time to time but that's pretty much it. it. It's a small park, but the fact that it is a new park in 2024 that they're opening up is awesome. What I wish somebody would do is open up some more public lands around here. That won't happen. I don't think. Um, but anyway, I will leave the link to this down below. I'll let you can go to my Facebook page and read the article about it if you want to. Um, but I just think it's pretty cool that they're opening a new state park in 2024. Um, I know the state of Tennessee owns a lot of land. And you can see it when you look at different maps of this is owned by the state of Tennessee. But you don't know is that owned by what? What part of the state of Tennessee? But anyways, um, I just thought I'd bring it to you on this Saturday that you know Tennessee opened a new park. Uh, I think it's really cool that they did. Uh, like I said, it's um, Middle Fork Bottom State Park. It's in West Tennessee. Um, maybe if I go to West Tennessee this fall, maybe we go by it and check it out and see what it's all about. Bring you more about it. But anyways, guys, that's it for this one. Stay tuned till Tuesday. The main um, video from... Um, well, Land Between the Lakes should be up by then. If I get through editing it. It's pretty lengthy. So, be ready for that. Alright guys, that's it for this one. I appreciate you watching. See you on the next one. Be prepared. And go out and do something if you can. If it's not raining. If it's raining, go out and do something anyway.